What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first Toilet Tuesday. How's it going, man? Doing good, man. Doing good. What's happening yeah. this week? You been busy? Yeah, man. Busy. Uh, the clients got me on site just about every day. So uh been, uh been making that hike to get up early in the morning, drive <laughs> down, spend the day in the office. Yeah. Haven't had to do the office gig in about four years, but uh that's always uh, rough, yeah. man. It's like me, right? I had I went to the same office for many years and I was out of the out of the office for six months and just going back to an actual like job setting is like holy shit. <laughs> yeah, man. It definitely uh it definitely takes puts puts a wear and tear on you, but um I'm getting back into it. You know, clients been really happy with everything, so well, that's what uh, matters. Know. Yeah, yeah, things are going good. It's about from my understanding, about four or five more weeks, so I'll be on site most times. But that should wrap up. Got a vacation coming up here in it, the first week of April. Kids are on break, so uh, right after Easter, we're gonna do some Virginia trip. Oh, nice! Just a quick drive, yeah. down, drive back up. Yeah, my, my wife's best friend's uh, husband's in the military. He's been based down in Navy for a while, about down there in Virginia in the Navy for a little while, um, and. Uh, We've been promising to visit a bunch of times, so we, we decided we're going to do it right after Easter, uh, take the drive down, be down there Monday through Friday, get home. That's a beautiful uh, area, time. too, around that naval base down there. Yeah. Virginia Beach is beautiful. We were down there in 2007-ish, set no, uh, 2009-ish, something like that. <clears throat> it was it was quite a while. It's been, it's been some time, so um, we're going to go down, and, and we got an Airbnb right on the beach, so... Oh, uh, we'll, we'll spend the five days there and then uh, I'll come home just in time for WrestleMania weekend. So that's <laughs> my big plan. Uh, we were going to stay through the weekend until Sunday and come home. And then I realized it was WrestleMania weekend. And I was like, nope, put the brakes nope. on that. <laughs> the, wife, the wife was actually really cool with it, which I was like, I was really surprised. She was like, she said, oh, we got to be home for rain, WrestleMania. Like you always do something with the boys. So yeah, well, that's good, man. Yeah. Got to keep those traditions, right? As long as you can. Exactly. Have Yep, absolutely, man. They they grow up way too fast, as you know. Oh fuck yeah, I know that more than anything, dude. I'm already missing Luke like every day, dude. I'm like, <laughs> he's like, I like text him and shit so much that he's like, oh, <coughs> me just because you know, it's like, it's like dad, I'm not dying or anything, man. I'm just going to the air force. So I'm like, yeah, but I'm gonna miss you, dude. So. Absolutely. So uh, we got to do that thing, right? It's that what you say. Oh, that's a different show, right? That's a different show. We got to do the hi, welcome to a punk with toys. I'm your host, Lawrence. I'll be here for three hours. Yep, I probably don't know how much to talk hours. about. I don't know if I'm going to make it three hours, but. And I don't know if I'm going to make it to the topic with more right. than five minutes left. Exactly. Because there's a lot of Joe news we got to discuss. Right. Got to talk about Joe's, man. That's right. talk Joe's about on Joe's on Joe's. Um, No, but seriously, uh, it looks like there's a bunch of folks in the chat if you want to. Uh, yeah, let's pop through. Just, yeah. Wraith Maith was first. What's up, Wraith? Hey, Wraith. We got that. I actually just started. I just started following him on Instagram, I think a day yeah. or two ago during one of the streams I was on, I, I followed him because uh, somebody mentioned something about uh, the joy toys and I was looking at his stuff and I was like, holy crap. Yeah, he's got a good show on Friday nights. Uh, I think it's usually nine or 10 o'clock on Friday Eastern time. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he's just, he's doing like a lot of the joy toy Warhammer stuff. Um, yep. You know, he's planning on doing like a whole world building thing. So it's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, he's got that's some, that is cool something that's not even a toy but he thinks it's a toy <laughs> maddie what's up maddie uh there that's there he is hello fools what's up punk hey bro carol hey carol and we got fetched here sup dingleberries you're a dingleberry that's good nolan's in the house what's up nolan I'm grab something over here real quick go for it man who else we got here Everybody just saying hi to everyone. All right. Well, thanks everybody for popping in. We don't really have a topic like usual, but you know, since Punk can do a topic and actually make it part of his thumbnail and never discuss it, we just figured we'd just skip the topic altogether. Because <laughs> we don't like yeah. to clickbait you. <laughs> you know, we were gonna talk originally. We talked about talking about some of the Kickstarters. So uh, yeah. we can touch on we can touch on that, but I think you know what's always good is like just check in, see if you got any cool new plastic. Or anything exciting. I haven't got any new plastic in yet. Uh, okay. I have a vamp coming. Um, Ooh. I canceled and, mine. <laughs> and a Batman Mezco that uh, someone is okay. gifting me. So Nice. Yeah. Good deal, man. Good deal. I did get quite a bit in the other day. Um, I can't imagine that. <laughs> I got a... 
I got, I, did I show these? Was this last week? No, you showed that to me when we were just bullshitting. Okay, yeah. So I got I got a uh, I got some. I think you might have shown them, but who cares? I got the I got my Warriors beat. I'm gonna open this up tonight while we're on the stream. Take a look at that. I did get this one in. Yeah, I think I showed this last week. Yeah, you but, did. I think so. I did get a few other things in since then. And when I say a few other things, I mean oh, let's go, let's go live because I gotta see these biker yeah. mice. So the biker mice, we've got cyber mouse, cyborg mouse here. Moto, yeah. And then we got uh what is his name? Throttle. Yeah. So you haven't opened yet? Or are you waiting for Chase to open? No, Vinny. Uh, I'm gonna open them for him, get them all set for him. Yeah. He uh he swiped him out of my office. He he didn't I didn't tell him about it. And then I came into my office one day because uh, I'm not in my office every day anymore. Yeah. Um, because I go to the I go to the office. So um I end up you know coming to my office one day and I'm like, holy crap. Like all my stuff is thrown about, and I looked around. And I was like, "Oh, it's just the toys." Yeah. So, and like I have like shelves off to the right here, and I always station my you know unbox stuff on a shelf here, and yeah. he knows right where to hit up. So he went through and he started snooping, and I'm like, "Look, dude, you can't snoop in my office, man." Like because yeah, right? then it takes away. He he found an elite Finn Balor from the WWE oh, yeah. line, and he snagged that. So, uh, you know that. Yeah. You know, he grabbed those. I, I actually just grabbed those out of his bedroom tonight because the boxes were on the floor in his room. So he was looking at them, waiting for me to help him open them. But uh, um, I told him that I'd get them ready for him, and uh, I wanted to show them to you on the stream. So yeah, yeah. I I wanted to get those biker mice, but I, I'm going to wait and see if they put the biker mice out with the bicycles with the motorcycles. They probably. I mean, I'm sure they're like going they to because they're releasing the cycle separately, and they're going to. I can't. Yeah. I can't imagine they're not going to do a box set of them. Uh, yeah, it, I, I imagine it'll depend on, on show on Fridays. Oh, cool, cool. Hey, Largo. I see Largo just joined. Yeah, what's up, Jim? What's up, sexy? I'll get, I'll get, and, and, I'll get the hang Oh, now I'm these. hurt. <laughs> so Travis is sexy and I'm just dead. I get how this goes. Yeah. Got a, oop, I think I hit it. Yep, got yep. a booby trap that uh, office. <laughs> yeah, I got to figure something out, man. Because he's, uh, He's definitely. I'll figure out some of these controls here and help you out a little bit as yeah, I. All right. Once as uh, I, I want. I was talking to Ted the other day because I was talking about if he was getting any of the biker mice or if he opened up any of them, and because uh, I want to know how they pose and stuff. You know, I want to know like how the t articulation is because I liked the biker mice cartoon when I was when I was well, it was on when I was a teenager actually, but I was like yeah. cartoon, so I was interested in the figures. But once I saw they were doing the bikes, I was like, I'll just wait till they do the bikes and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens if they re-release them or whatnot, because it's weird that they didn't release them all at the same time, because I feel like you're going to have folks that are like, oh, I missed yeah. out. Maybe these, I mean, I'm leaving them in the box and I only have the three of them, so yeah. it's not well, like the I cell, have When I talked to the guy at the cell at PowerCon, he was yeah. talking about how they hadn't gotten the bikes finished in time, and they... Okay. They wanted to get something out, but you know, it's kind of one of those things like, do you just wait and do it all at once or you do little pieces? But on the, on the flip side of that, he also said, if the bikes sell well, then they might do like the insect rides for, uh, the inse okay. uh, sectars. I got to go back and watch the show. I got a Plex, so I'll spin it up and see if it's on there and, and watch it with chase with him. Cause he'll want to, you know, he's very much a watch and play, you know, individual. So I don't know if I've ever seen him on Plex uh well i i know you have a different plex but yeah <laughs> same with mine right but uh right, right, i haven't right. seen them on, on my plex but i did gotcha. see some of like the episodes on youtube you know you can't get like okay all the episodes together but you can watch right you know, like certain episodes and stuff so yeah so yeah, largo says travis is a toy enabler or just a good dad <laughs> a um, little of both I, th I think it's i think it's more about me can I get yeah. my plastic? And I use my kids to be able to get my plastic. Yeah. So I did. I I had I had Luke's Star Wars collection like you know it was crazy when he was younger, and it gotcha. was always hey Aunt I got to get it this for him. It's part of his collection, you know. He, <laughs> he's named after Luke Skywalker. I mean, you gotta, right, he's right. got to have he's got to have the Star Wars stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Um. Yeah, man. So those were some of my gets, and I, I got a bunch of. I got a bunch of this, and I think this is a good segue, right? So I got a bunch of my AWOC stuff, and uh, for anybody that watches our buddies over on the Hella Dupe uh, stream there, uh, I ordered a couple more things for the, the AWOCs from them because I didn't realize I bought direct from Spiro, 
and I also bought direct from uh, I bought from <laughs> I bought from Hello Dope. So I've got a I've got a ton. Well, you had the order in, right armors. for the for Spiro for the stuff because you ordered it when the game kicked off, right? Yeah, I ordered and a ton ordered of stuff on the game. Agree with that? Yep. So I uh, so I got a bunch of that stuff, and I got a bunch of boxes down in the basement of it too. So now that I have all of that, I was like, oh, I got a couple more figures I want to you know armor up in specific ways, and, and yeah. I've got all the head packs and stuff. So I was like, oh, you know what I'll do is I'll I'll pop another head or two here and I'll throw that on. So I'm looking Those, forward to uh, getting armor there. sets look really good on some of the, uh, like I popped a couple of different, uh, the ancient bodies apart and put different heads yeah. on them. And then put my the favorite ones is on green and purple looking. Yep, color. That was my favorite. But, one I, too. but I do like the, I do like the blue and yep. blue and brown one. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to kind of toying around with that a bit and, and mock it up some of those, oh. but Dano said that Grimes unlocked. <clears throat> that's nice. that's that's what I was getting ready to say. It's a it's a um, it was a lead in to that Kickstarter piece that, that Grimes did just get uh, unlocked on there. I'm really pumped to see that. There's been a lot of really good streams in the last week that I've been catching up on that yeah. um, <clears throat> that highlights some of the. That's kind of why I figured we'd stop talking about the, the <laughs> yeah because everybody no, talking about it, that we you know in our community and. Yep. Uh, uh wolf not the yet the uh there's the one that's the void and then the other uh hyena looking dude wolf dude whatever he is i think okay. uh i think he's part of the next part of like a later part of wave four or wave three whatever one they're on now yeah he's kind of like an extension of what he's i think yeah. i think jason has said he's like his own he's his own wave like he's yep. his own figure yeah. he's kind of like an in between the yep. the uh the four and then the wave two yeah or series not wave two series series two, two right so yeah yeah i'll tell Looking you what the, the new a walks that they've released right i love the way that minotaur oh, the dude. elephant and the rhino look dude my god yeah that's awesome did you did you watch any of uh highly articulated uh stream i didn't get to yet i have it on my dude, playlist but i haven't had time to watch it yet gotta so. watch that because like yeah. that one picture that that adam's been showing there man with and, and, and you know Spiro, I, I don't know which one it is, um, but it basically, sorry, I lost control of my mouse here, but basically it highlights like the the scale difference between all of them. Yeah, and uh, you know he shows that for quite a while during the stream with Jason and and Brick on there. It was really really cool looking, but that elephant is going to be gigantic. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're going to end up doing like a shorter body too at some point, because like now they basically have, well they have like the elephant scale. Like and then they have which is basically oh you know then they have like the uh brute scale or whatever they're calling it yeah and then they got the regular scale and then they're calling the speedster scale which is a little bit thinner body right yeah then they got the female buck I'm just wondering if they're gonna do like a dwarf type of character you know I like think I think the way to handle it would be like a raccoon or something right like yeah, that's what I mean like a raccoon a squirrel you know, gopher, raccoon. squirrel something yep. like that right that'd be sweet yeah. That would be cool. Like, like, and I think that basically everything they keep coming through, um, and Jason says is like, you know, if it makes sense to the story, he doesn't want to force something in. Cause somebody mentioned yeah. he taught, I guess from the original series, there was like a skunk character. Yep. So well, like, a skunk would work in like the short version, right? I mean, that just, be yeah, like... I would be like really down for a raccoon because it would be oh, kind of yeah. like rocket raccoon yep. from, from galaxies, but like, those new ones that they've shown the the pictures of that go beyond you know the unlocks it's really yeah. really cool man just the yeah. and the heads and then then spiro just did an update uh just a couple hours ago i saw it come through or or something update number nine just came through it's i just got noticed but it like it shows i'm actually going to share my share my screen real quick go for it. in just a moment uh let just me make sure you're not this. talking yourself yeah no no I'm just going to show this one screen here. Uh, share screen, this and that. So they just announced, they just showed off some of the renders oh, of man. the alt head. head packs for the reptilian figures. Yeah. And the snake, I guess, has like a tongue hole. And so does the, so does the, uh, the gecko oh, or whatever this thing is. <clears throat> yeah. So they showed those, and I thought that looked really cool. Yeah, those heads look awesome. Look at the one that they have for the the heavy uh, infantry. This a helmeted one, so you get like an even even because I don't think oh. that was original. 
that's sweet man yeah yeah dude. i'm really really pumped for all this so some really cool stuff coming with the with the other stuff and obviously the we've, we're getting grime so that's guaranteed and one of the big things about this and and i won't harp on the the uh what i won't i won't harp on the the kickstarter too much because i'm i'll go crazy fanboying on it but basically <laughs> right. basically what i thought was cool is that the way jason explained it on his show or on, on highly articulated show on sunday was that and, and somebody said it and maybe it was cato but they mentioned that um you know you're you're backing a kickstarter you're backing a dollar amount so you know for those that go epic all in you know if for some reason everything doesn't unlock you're still going to get that you're going to get supplemental figures yeah that make up for that so um you know yeah largo i so they can i think they can play together and use them together i think the the awoks have more of a cartoonish so like, like i look at like savage crucible like it's it's my line and then the awok is like mine and my son's line together like my 13 year old. So it makes it like it's more targeted towards he and I, you know, whereas the Savage Crucible, you know, it'll be that would be more something that my older son and I could get into because yeah. it's a little bit darker, more mature looking um in the characters. It's got like a I'll tell you what, man. Wash on you put a wash on some of these AWOX though, they they grit right up, dude. That's what it is. Wash. Yeah, I put some you, washes you, on them, dude. They look good when they got washes. I've seen a lot of them on, on Instagram and, and and Facebook. And when people put the washes on them, it's just it's like, oh, man, I want to do that. I just I'm not that guy. I'm not that talented. So <laughs> I never get around to it. And then like you got uh, I put some soft goods on mine. I know Thanos yep. has put some soft goods on his. Uh, Nowhere Man has done some pictures with some really nice soft goods. That's what, uh, you know. I'm darker and more mature than both of you. <laughs> Brick, the man, the myth, the legend. That was good. Uh, um, he's definitely probably darker than both of us. I'm not sure about more mature because, you know, I'm going to give really him more mature, mature than me. He I just, mean, we all play with toys and we're, you know, uh, old guys. True. So how yeah. mature can we be? Yeah. My big he thing is got for... better hair than we do. Though. <laughs> yeah. And the voice. It's he's got the that. Voice. Yeah, he's got the voice. He's got that voice. Him and Adam on that show. It's like those guys were made for for tv so um yeah no i'm i'm looking forward to the line the that i'm really pumped i love the the stuff they previewed and stuff and uh, i look forward to seeing what else keeps coming because that stuff looks really cool yeah yeah and, and yeah. something that was said the other day which um sorry to cut you off there Ed, no, go ahead um one of the things that i was meaning to until i saw that brick message is like something a lot of people were asking jason is like are you going to come out with soft goods things like that and like something that i think is like I don't want to say I don't want a walk to have soft goods, but I feel like there's a it's similar to like the legions, right? Like legions have all of these supplemental vendors and, you know, an entire like e they have an entire commerce around their yep. line that is supported by folks like you and I. And to me, I really want to see someone come up with that expansion, like the custom a walk thing, stuff right. that fits in the, the <clears throat> lure you know, custom heads, you know, additional armors, things like that, soft goods, things like that, that are supplemental to the mainline AWOC stuff. Um, I and mean, I think that there's, a, there's an opening there. Yeah. Realistically, I mean, yeah, you can put any kind of soft goods on on, on the AWOC that you want. To, oh, right? yeah. But, like, the only thing that I'd really like to have in soft goods on, like, every AWOC would be their kilts or skirts or whatever the hell you call oh, it. Oh, instead of the know? rubber? Yeah. Only because, like, yeah. when you put them in sitting positions and stuff, it makes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get what you're saying. Like, if you know, if they swapped it out, but you know, that's gonna jump oh, that... up from a forty dollar figure oh, to yeah, a fifty five dollar sure. figure at minimum, I'm sure. Yeah. But you know, so you know, there's that. That's what I'm saying is like, there's a commu There's someone out there with that skill set. Oh yeah, sitting sure. a, sitting watching a stream that just needs to get their sewing machine out. And you know, yeah. I saw Derek did some stuff on on Facebook. Oh, he's one of the guys with uh with they with the animal warriors the king spiro and stuff um he's at their booth all the time and such uh, i think he ships out stuff for them yeah um but yeah they uh you know he was doing some stuff and it looked really cool but i feel like there's there's a market like yeah you know the you only know, thing like i was saying heads. the night in in hella dope right like they were talking about how a lot of people at that show the columbus toy show didn't really understand what a walk was and yeah. i don't know like 
Like, I think AWOC could blow up just as big as Mythic Legions, but it's not getting, like, that public awareness or whatever, right? Like, only because I think it's just the, the nature of the line. Because, like, if you take a knight, a barbarian, a wizard, or whatever, right, and you show them to pretty much anybody, they know what that is, right? There's some reference in their brain to what that is. Right, With right, AWOC, right. Most people see it, it and think it's just, you know, monkeys and cats or yeah. like like Luke, he still calls it my Planet of the Apes line because he knows I love Planet of the Apes, right? That's Me too, man. I'm looking forward to that new movie. <clears throat> Hell yeah, dude. And dude, you know, it's like it's like that's what that's what people relate it to, right? They don't have any relate relatability to this line. And it's not yeah. anything that Jason's doing, it's just the nature no. of the nature of the line, right? It, but I think if it got more publicity or more awareness brought to it that more people would be into it. And I think this Kickstarter is going to help because they're yep. showing off a lot more different uh, animals and stuff, which is, you know, going to help really boost it up. And the weapons yeah. packs and armor packs and all that they're doing with this new series is going to be amazing. Yep. You know, the thing is, what it was, like, I know this is cheesy, but it might have been cool if they had waited a little longer to release the Kickstarter so it coincided with the launch of the Planet of the Apes movie, Kingdom mm -hmm. of the Planet of the Apes, to cause some market confusion there and then just start hashtagging, you know, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and stuff. <laughs> Cause like it would have like people would have gotten up in their feeds and stuff unnecessarily and like you know they might have been like, oh what's this? And like you would have seen the A walks and you'd be like, oh that's cool. And you yeah. know if you focused on the animal, you know the apes and that's stuff. That's what Jason and... needs to do. He needs to put an A walk commercial right at the beginning of the Planet of the Apes. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> like instead of trailers oh, now, so they cool. have commercials in front of the movies. Yep. They could just do that. Yeah, he just needs to get yeah, he just needs to get the AWOL commercial in there. Yeah. That would be that would be cool. Um yeah, you know, I just uh, I have to go to the comic book store that my son, my my oldest son, he gets like he gets a stack of comics like once a month from our local guy. Yeah. Um and I saw him at a toy show on Sunday that I was checking out. Uh same one I went to last year. Um, yeah, I was gonna ask you if that was the same one you went to last year. Yep, it was the same one I went to last year, and uh we um you know, I popped in and uh, the comic guy that I know from the one that's down the road from me was there. Yeah. So I chat him up for a minute and told him that I want to get the Spiro, the AWOS. I already have all the ones that they've released, but I figure, you know what? One, I'm supporting the local comic shop. Um, and then I'm actually thinking about having them get me two per issue. And then I'm going to tell them to just give an issue to free to one of the kids. So some kid, you know, some teenager or something that's in there and just make sure he hopefully has like a Spiro reference in the comic to, yep. to the toys. And hopefully it'll get some, you know, just give it to somebody random, you yep. know, and every time I'll tell them, just give it to some random consumer in the store. That's grabbing another comic. I'll pay for it. I don't care yeah. just to help spread the awareness. Cause I love the line. I love the yeah. IP. And you know, I, yeah, I like, Jason's never like Robert's said this. Saying, and, right. It, it's a, it's a great new IP that has like, some nostalgia built into it just because of the, the the nature of it with the Planet of the Apes and things like that. But it's also its own IP, which is definitely a struggle because there's no nostalgia for it. But right. I think it's a great line. I love it. it. It's 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 got like, to me, it has, well, one, you know, and this goes back to what I've heard Punk say a bunch of times and just about anybody else is you can put them in your kid's hand and not worry about the stuff breaking. You know, I, I, I know they put some of those flyers in there to, you know, yeah. uh, heat your, you know, heat your toys yep. and stuff, whatever before. But I've never had an issue with an AWOC. Again, that's think, just me. You know, the thing is, like, but, they're so colorful. If you put them on a shelf, like in, in a Walmart, kids will be drawn to it, right? Because they're so colorful. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh I mean, yeah. It's just the, a, the boxing. It, yeah, it's a pop. The it's box pop, artwork. You no, know, it's an yeah. eye catcher for sure. Yeah, that that box artwork and stuff they have on there, it's clean. It'll pop and everything. So you know, my goal is, uh, you know, I, I keep buying it, and you know, I want to yep. see it grow. But Rob Robert's right. Like he hit up her. Like he came in when the six inch line scale is perfect. Yep. Those toys. Uh, I I've seen the four inch toys. I don't think the this is me personally. I don't think the four inch toys match to even half the quality nope. of what those six nope. inch toys look like the six inch toys i have no like i have no complaints about them you know like quality look sculpting all that stuff it's really really good it's detailed enough at that scale it really takes advantage of the six inch frame or yeah. the above six inch whatever you want to call it yeah. um so for me I love scale our our 112 scale yeah yeah exactly so i love it i think robert hit it on the head though is is it's it teases enough of that it touches on so much nostalgia from those 80s, early 90s, kind of, you know, the He-Man, the, the what is it, Thundercats, all that stuff. Hey, Dark Claw. So, yeah. So, to me, it's, 
it's it's it touches enough and it, it does to it for me it does what what the Joes, right? Joes came back. They tried doing some like current modernization yeah. and it really wasn't getting over. People were crapping on it pretty hard. They were getting a taste for what the Joes in a six inch line were, but it wasn't what they wanted. Right. So then what did they do? They went back to the well and they pulled yeah. out what they've been doing forever, yep. which I still think they're nailing it. It looks great, but you know, there's a lot of people that would criticize, well, you're just reject, you're just regurgitating what you had. Yeah. Yes, but it's, pr- it's modern articulation. Unfortunately, it's quality. unfortunately the classified line is, in a no win situation because you had you had something they were trying to do that was new with using the existing characters people didn't yep. like it and now you got the other side of the spectrum where people are going well you're just repainting and remaking the stuff you made in the 80s you're well, not going to please which one do you want right i mean exactly you're, you're never going to make anybody happy so they're exactly they're really in a hard place but the stuff they're putting out is top notch. it looks and, great like, if, if, if you want a phenomenal figure oh yeah if you want to go from that 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 old retro you know the o-ring and and the smaller scale 118 stuff and you want to go to a larger scale with more articulation and you know modern you know features and and that detail you can see from you know on your shelf that's absolutely classified they've done a great job however they've had to reach back into and just regurgitate what they've always done with a walk I feel like it's new. You don't know what it yep. is. You got the comic, which is running parallel to it. And if Jason sticks with that and continues to produce a comic that gets people, you're you're touching on so many fronts of of that market. You're getting the you're getting that person who wants the story. They want to collect the statue of the story. And you know, I he he's never I've I've never talked to Jason about it. I'm only basing this off of the shows I've heard him on. I keep feeling like he's hinting towards trying to bring it to a show at some point. Yeah. I'm I hoping think the good thing that. about the AWOC line itself, though, is like you can have it's one of those lines that you can do. You can follow what the canon is of the comic book and the story so far, right? Oh, yeah. Or you can totally put it into your own, oh, yeah, you know, mindscape, right? Original. And you can yep. do that with any toy line, but like, you know, the Joes are still the Joes, right? No matter yep. what. And you can put them with other figures and do whatever you want. Action Force, you can mix in with stuff, but it's still Action Force. Like yep. the AWOCs, it's like you can take that monkey, right? And have them battle Conan. You can have them battle, you know, yeah. whoever. I mean, and it's uh, just fire you know, and ice. Right. Yeah. It's just an awesome Savage you know, whole thing that can yep. be spread across everything. Yeah. No, they're, I'm really excited for those and, and whatnot. Yeah. So speaking of Joes, you, you remember Angelo that you met last year at that show? Okay, so that's is so that was a different show. Right. I went oh, to that was two shows. I went to two of those shows that were local last year. Yeah. There was one that was like ten minutes from my house, and one that was yeah. about thirty minutes from my house up in Lake George. And the one in Lake George is the one I went to over the weekend. I think this is their third or fourth time there. So this is not the one that Angelo was at. Okay, but speaking of Angelo, did you see what he's doing in one twelve scale? He got I he got some. Uh, 112 scale vintage GI Joe style heads and he's flocking them and making like an actual 112 scale adventure team with with the figures. Well, so, do you know what his do you know what his Instagram is? I build a Rama. Build a Rama. He's like a teacher. Build a Rama too? Yep, that's probably it. Okay. Yeah, I follow him. Yeah, this is him. Yeah. Wow, he really flocked the crap out of that one. 41 yeah. minutes ago, rock and roll, I guess. Yeah, he did rock and roll. He's done. Oh, uh, and Outback. Outback, yeah. And he did yeah, a whole, he had somebody, he bought some 112 scale 3D printed uh, vintage style Joe heads and flocked okay. those. <clears throat> I flocked okay. a couple of Action Force heads. I never flocked a Joe head yet, but. Gotcha. Oh, man, he's got like a flocked wolf, too. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That's cool. Yeah. He's, he's one of the uh one of the uh Padawans of mine that became an expert at flocking. <laughs> Taught him how to flock and then he took it to the next level. Gotcha. That's cool. Yeah, no, he's he was the one that was doing the comic book thing that I thought was yep. really cool. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. He puts that's one of those cool. out still every holiday. Does he? Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, man. So yeah, a walk. I'm hoping they. Uh, I'm hoping they get to that. I'm hoping they unlock everything. Hope they get to five hundred thousand. I hope they get to six hundred thousand. Whatever <laughs> it takes. I just want to see because there's 
like everything they keep showing and these things that aren't even listed on there. It's just the bodies, the, the, and, and Jason's talked about it. Adam's talked about it is that, you know, with the ability to have so many, you know, uh, what do they call it? Um, um, parts library, I think is what they're referring to it. So yeah. with yep. so many of a parts library, I feel like it's going to present a ton of opportunity in the future for the, for the line to just continue to expand. And then they talked about, um, I think they said they only have four figures in a wave. So, you know, the thing is, is like also with, with, with the so many different bodies types and things you have such a more, uh, wide range for doing different types of ancients, right? Like you have the ancients that were just the, the standard buck, but now you could do yep. something else with the speedster body and something else with the, the oversized yeah. bodies, right? Just put the, put the cloak or whatever on them and call it good. And yeah. then let, for, let people buy armor packs. Yeah, I think I think that's what they're gonna. I think I I mean I can't imagine them not like honestly. If I was doing it, I would do a six figure wave, make four kind of figures that are you know your your true character ones, and then do two agents in every line of one of the one of the bodies or molds, and just do it that way. Because I mean, you know, people are gonna get those army builders. Awesome. Oh, so Largo says, any news on Hexa stack? Yes. So I've got all my heat bands in and I'm running some test prints. I've been so busy with work. I've not had a ton of time to get things moving, um, but I have everything set up now. I was actually in the basement last night cleaning it all out while, or not last night, on Sunday night, Sunday night, cleaning the basement out, moving some things around so that I had more space to work. So we are moving and progressing. Um, I have been reaching out to uh, shows uh, conventions to start to try to book some stuff for the later portion of the year. Um, that is my goal. I would like to say that by April 1st, things should be live if everything goes smoothly. So that way I can launch it while I go on vacation and then pack orders when I get home on WrestleMania weekend and, uh, do it that way. That's the goal. Thank you, Payne. And yes, Payne, I've got your stuff I'm working on. Yours will actually be the first things printed uh, with the bands and everything on it. I have run through so much attempts at printing those for you because of the heat issue. Um, yours are going to be taken care of, and I will ship those over to you um, and a few extra special pieces, too. So speaking of Galactic Valor by Fox Forge. Um, yep. Let me that's the funky screen. legs, right? <laughs> yep, that's the funky legs. <laughs> they, did, um, they did reveal some stuff that wasn't funky legs, though. Yeah, so here they have their three, uh, five figures that are lined up. And then they showed them next to Awok, Mythic, uh, Black Series, and yep. uh, oh, man. Legend. So you know what looks the best right there, in, though. right? But you know what looks the best there, right? It's the Awok. <laughs> Absolutely. I just love that. That's such a, it's such a good figure. Yeah, I see they got this guy now. That's what I was saying, yeah. yeah. So they had the Nexus Guardian. I saw the digital yeah. render. This for that. is kind of like, like the original line they did with a little bit oh, better okay. detail. So they did like okay. a line of like two or three different figures that were kind of like Space Marines, and that gotcha. was kind of this 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 design. But definitely, this guy has more like you know detail and stuff in his in his design. So, gotcha. Um, they got this dude too, man. Look at this thing. I saw the concept art on the uh, what do they on call those mount? uh, mounts? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. bad. Absolutely. So it should be pretty cool, be cool to see what they come up with for sure. Uh, what we got? Yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Here. I mean, I I don't know that I'll back that. Um, I mean, I back up, random Adam. things. I back random things all the time. I back this came in like a week or two ago, which it's like a comic book, which I still haven't read, but it looked cool. The artist was on Instagram, and I thought it was a cool artist, and I saw his Kickstarter, so I backed it. But What's that called? It's called Primate. It's by uh, ConcreteComics.com. Um, yeah, no, I mean, they, it was just a Kickstarter. I think it, it's like issue number one, and I think I just have this. I think I have the same one with two different comic covers. It's like, so it's uh, just a comic book series is what it is. <clears throat> yeah, but it's... I mean, it's, I don't want to say just, but I mean, that's what it is right now. Is a it's an ape. Series. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a character that's an ape of some sort. That's pretty cool. And I thought it was cool. I think I came across it while I was doing a walk stuff and mm -hmm. looking into that and thinking it was all cool. So I, I backed it. So, um, I mean that wasn't much, but I don't know that I'll get backing the the valor and and even the um even that other one the what are that I was telling you about yesterday the bodies was that brutal realms the brutal realms man like 
they're brutal right now. <laughs> like, yeah. to me. Like, not to like not to pick on them because like I wish I'm nothing. But that's what past. we looked at yesterday, right? Yeah, I yeah. just it wasn't it wasn't for me, man. Like the more I see, like the concept art looks cool, but the bodies are so disproportionately awkward. Yeah. I don't understand it. Let's like, bring that up. Let it's just not up. what I would expect. I have it open if you want me to share it. You got it open? Yes, yeah, go ahead and share it. The yeah, way I give me a second. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, let me know if you guys are seeing that. It's coming. Yep, there you go. Yeah. So, like, like this, like, I just saw that, and I'm like, the guy's shoulders are so wide. Like, yeah. the you height know, the thing is, is, you look at the black bad. dude, right? The black dude's yeah. got, like, his shoulders droop down like they should, right? And he does, I mean, he still looks a little funky. It's kind of like some ex ex extreme, you know, muscle and yeah. stuff. But, you like, know, that's, that's his shoulders kind of round down like they should. That other dude yeah. is like so square. It's weird looking. That's that's what it is. That's <clears throat> what I'm having a hard time with. Like I want to want some of these because I feel like they would be cool for Savage Crucible or something. Yeah. But like I look at this and you know what? You used the perfect word. You said like extreme, right? It makes me think of if like if Savage Crucible or like the um or like the Four Horsemen, like the Mythic Legions, were like, oh, it's mid nineties and we got to make our figures extreme. Right. So like they wanted to jack them up disproportionately yeah. and make them a little awkward. Like yeah, I, I mean, look like at the size of his bicep. Done. I mean, that thing is just gigantic. <laughs> it's just it's yeah, and I know it's like concept stuff and right, you know, but like this one here, I think in the comments they said. That this is like 90% to what it's going to be or whatever. 98% yep. accurate to the final figure. And yeah. that to me is not something I like. I don't think I could back this. No. Like I just. I might pick up one of the figures or whatever just to see what they're about. You know, once they get yeah. actually released. But I probably I'm not, definitely not going to back the Kickstarter. But I want to want them. Like, yeah, like I feel like they would be cool. But like. Like this, maybe it's because it's not colored and stuff. Like that looks in scale appropriately with that. This is a Mythic yep. Legion here, right? <clears throat> yeah. So it looks all right there. But then I see it next to this, you know, master, master version. Like he looks kind of small. And then like I see him against, you know, it's it's weird. I just well, wait, I, go back to that wrestling one, right? Because wrestlers are about six and a half, right? That's is that what they're at? Wrestlers are supposed to be one twelfth scale, like if you measure them, they're supposed to be like a you know six inch right. figure is six foot tall, six two, yeah. yeah. But that uh, he's truth's got to be what six two, six four. He's pretty tall. Oh, Booker T here or Booker T? Yeah, not Truth. That's, yeah, that's the other guy. Yeah, but um, I mean, like that. I mean, that figure. I think part of the problem is is that they're short, but they're bulky, right? That's what it is. They're too square. Like this one yeah. right here. He just like. He just looks like he's I don't definitely know. squared off too much. Too squared in off, opinion. in my opinion. I, I love the idea, like... and I love like some of this concept art. Like I love what they're attempting, but even their concept art has that short. Like it, it looks like it looks like the dude who's like going to the gym and he's five foot five and he just drinks water and protein and that's all he does right yeah. exactly pain said it steroids right yeah, like Margo said i love right i love the concept but make it more proportional but you know like this the, stuff looks if you cool. think about it though it might be because like if you think about and this might be a little bit before your time but in the 80s a lot of the barbarian comic books and cartoons had the barbarian short and stocky Kind of like a, a silverback gorilla type thing, right? Right. Like and that's just short kind of what wide. maybe they're kind of con conceptualizing this from. Maybe. I mean, I've seen like the, a lot of the Conan stuff. And when I think it'd be great, you know, and I love the art that they show here, like in concept. Yeah. But like. It's just they're too short for me and too square. Yeah, it's it's I hope I hope it's it, be interesting to see the action. Actual... That head sculpt yeah. look pretty damn good. And I might, I might, I might back one. I, I, this is one of those ones I wouldn't go all in. Yeah. And I hope I don't regret it. Yeah. I'm probably going to back at least one or get one at least just to check it out once. It's like I'd want this guy. Fun. I think he just looks cool. And I like the fact that he has a bow. Yeah. But his, I don't know. His arms look longer than his legs to me. That's the only thing. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I like, uh, I like the, 
the dude in the double picture that the the black dude with the helmet. I love his head sculpt. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely, I want to want them. Like I, I see Brick said, I, I see Brick said they're totally for him. Yeah, and like I feel like they would. And you know, I think Rob, I think Robert's hitting it where I am. It's like it's iffy for me. It's like I yeah. want to want them because I feel like they would be good with my like battling the A walks, battling the you know like like battling the the crucible guys, things like that, filling in you know giving unique bodies and unique you know heads and stuff to alternative figures and whatnot. So I hope it's better than I'm anticipating right now because. I want yeah, to like hard to say how it's going to end up looking, you know, it's like, exactly. yeah, we'll, we'll see what like, happens. Uh, this is something else that came up recently. I don't know if you've seen this, but this is my baby here. So this is, uh, Oh, monster Monkey force. Fiction. Monster force. Oh, I don't think I saw this. Obviously look, taking a look at uh, test shots for monster force. Uh, you can see here we have the Declan Van Helsing. Uh, over here we have the Sleepwalker. We've covered these in a previous video, so take a look at those. Oh, man. These are our test shots, so they are fully articulated. Uh, we are fixing a few little minor adjustments right now in the tooling, but, again, we've covered these before. So what I thought we'd do is take a look at our paint samples. So here is Declan. So what a paint sample is, is essentially what the final figure will look like from the factory when painted. Uh, the joints uh, don't really move. It's really just to... They look pretty damn good, though, man. Yeah, they look good. They're going to fit in perfect with... Uh, they're going to fit the in perfect stuff. with the military lines and stuff yeah. and, and whatnot. Yeah. What's up, Tony? Yeah, that uh, all about the Fresh Monkey Fiction uh, Monster Force. And they're talking about making Eagle Force now in in uh, six inch also. So okay, Fresh Full Monkey. On. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that goes back to my point. I think we were talking about last week when when uh, Luke was on and stuff, and just how many is too many of those similar type of lines? Yeah. Right? Well, like you know, we I had... just uh, did you see the thing from Fist? Oh yeah, yep. I saw Fist posted something online. Hey, if you want to sell our product, yeah, you know, it's like, yeah, like these figures look pretty damn good. I gotta say, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm, I saw them at PowerCon, and I'm definitely considering, you know, these figures. I mean, they look damn good. Yeah, I want to back them because yeah. the guy is a really cool dude. That designed yeah, he's for them. sure, for, for surely a cool guy. I mean, that's a great looking figure. Yeah. Yeah, they look good. I mean, I don't know the quality of them, right? Because these guys, this guy's doing it all himself from a factory in Argentina or somewhere. But, yeah, I mean, Colombia or something. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I'm interested to see what yeah. it comes out with. But again, they will fit in perfect with, like, from what I can tell, yeah. they look like they will fit in perfect with your fo action force and your, your, you know, Joe and your. Yeah, these guys definitely have a little bit more like uh, post-apocalyptic, you know, sci-fi. Yeah. Vibe oh, absolutely. But I mean. They look pretty damn good. They look like they pose pretty damn good. So, I mean, yeah, you know, like this is one of Lawrence's beefs. Can the guy hold a rifle the right way? That looks pretty damn good, you know? Right. Yeah. And he's done a yeah. lot of like, you know, he's got all sorts of uh, animation and all sorts of stuff, yep. you know, going on for it. So, I mean, like it's yeah, just. Yeah, no, he's he's doing cool. And I know, and you know, he, he tried to Kickstarter guy. it. I don't think I got a he, picture of him. They got this I guy, which is Doom Sinner. He's a pretty badass orc. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool to have, you know, military dudes fighting orcs kind of like in line with yeah. uh, with the uh, Monster Force fighting. Yeah, out. if you're into the Monster Force and like the, the you know, alternative reality type stuff, that's going to be beneficial. Yeah. If you scroll down, he has a picture right there to the left, which has him next to Joe and Action Force right yeah. there so you can see him. Yeah. So yeah, and I I know he tried to kickstarter this you know a year or so ago and it wasn't yep, successful. Did. Um, you know. Yeah. I. But at I, that time, I think he'd only had like some uh, mockups and like three D renders, and now yeah. he's actually got some actual like these are actual figures that were made. Well, he's partnered with someone, I think. Like, and he's also done these put online. Yeah, and he's also done them in small scale now too. One eighteenth. 
I did see he was doing like another Kickstarter for like the one yeah. eighteenth, I think. Yeah, so he did yep. the one eighteenth Kickstarter where they're all done in uh O ring uh style. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, cool concept, right? You got like the whole yeah. background like uh like you know what we're used to in the nostalgia wise and yep. a whole new looking figures. So yeah, and and that just goes back to my point last week, and the one that if 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 seven more companies came out and started making, uh, you know, Middle Ages, Lord of the Rings style, you know, fantasy figures, and yep. you know, He Man esque like figures, things like that, you know, and they started doing it. At some point, you're gonna pick your you're gonna pick your poison and stick with it, or yeah. you might you might cherry pick all of them and just exactly yeah yep. yep. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with with uh all of that because with the so many of the action you know military line stuff even if it's space futuristic post-apocalyptic you know uh lore it's going to be interesting to see because i i feel like you know and you have so many people who are you know they're they're i don't want to say shills right it's they're 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 Fans of a specific genre, specific specific vendor, yeah. or whatever, yep. and they roll with that for the most part. So yeah, like Joe Joe Gonzalez, who's uh, who joins us on the Saturday Night Clubhouse. He's like all Mythic Legions, basically, right? Okay. He bought. He's had. He has every Mythic Legions figure that's ever been released up to date. Wow, including Cosmic, right? And he wow. likes some other. So he has the birds but, too. He has the birds. Yeah, he's got everything. Wow. So he's got all of it, and you know, like. He likes other lines and he's like, oh, yeah, I think about like I, I should get this. And then he's like, "Nah, I'm just going to stick with, you know, the Mythic Legions. But he chose one thing. He, you know, he buys multiples of them, too, because he customizes. Yeah. Them, right? But it's like, what's up, Derek? Um, that's one of those guys, right? He's all in on that. And yep. until Mythic Legions is done, he'll probably stay a diehard Mythic Legions fan. Like gotcha. me, it's like I buy the figures that are I'm drawn to, right? If I like the way the figure looks, I just buy it. I don't give a shit what line it belongs to. Yep. Yep. I mean, that's. I mean, I I buy. I mean, for a long time, I was big just WWE guy, and then I got the classifieds and the Joes and or the for Action Force, and my kids are getting the Star Wars and the Power Rangers, and then the the mag uh, the the Marvel Legends. So yeah, you know, then the. You know, bag of tricks opened up and I'm buying everything and <laughs> I don't even know what I'm getting sometimes. So uh yes. That's the struggle, right? Oh, it's you a bounce struggle. around too much, then you start bouncing around more than you want to. <laughs> That's yeah, where I'm I am definitely sometimes. Oh, this looks I'm good. definitely looks evaluating good. some what of the that. Hell am I doing with my collection? It's all over the fucking place. Exactly. I'm I'm definitely at a point where I'm evaluating, you know, if I'm what what I'm actually going to what I'm actually going to be buying because I, I have to. Like otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna screw myself. Like over I'm trying to stay me. true to like mostly. All, I'm all in on Monster Force. I'm gonna get yep. the Eagle Force four inch figures that are the only the nostalgic ones, the ones that are made after the vintage versions. Gotcha. And then I'm sticking with some of the Mezcos that I already have on pre order. And right. there's a couple of AWOCs that I want to pick up and a couple of mythics, but those are like just one offs here and there, right? But it's like gotcha. And all these other things are coming out like Fist and like you know, Brutal Realms and you know, yeah, Mythic Legions puts out like the retailer wave of the, the cosmic legion dude that I gotta have because he's you know a kickback oh, to the retro price, you know. It's like yep. damn it all, stop. What's yeah, up, Allison? That's, that's I didn't how it see works. you pop in earlier. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, it's like, and then I get so far into everything and it's just crazy. And then, you know, every toy company that I see comes out with new stuff. And then you hang out with guys like Brick and Oz and you and, and Thanos. <laughs> and they're all like, oh, look what I got, you know. And Brick, right. and Brick and Thanos have been on like this World of Warcraft orc figures from like 5K Toys recently. And they're showing oh. those off all the time. And I'm like, damn, those things look good. And then yeah, I had to walk those stupid minotaurs. And I'm like... I want one of those. It's like I had to walk away from the. I had to walk away from that stuff, you know, because like, like I was just expanding so much, and I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, I was just, I was justifying. Oh, I can, I can add those to my want for my Savage Crucible yeah. and this and that. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, I, I gotta, you know, like I think I did pre-order those. I, I don't know what I did. I think it was like thirty dollars down or something like that. Yeah. And uh, I, yeah, I don't know. Oh, maybe they canceled my order. 
For what? Which ones? I thought I did a pre-order on on the one for those Minotaurs. They must have canceled my order. So, yeah. I think I had to like the second or something or the fifth. I was just looking at my account real quick. So, yeah, I'm not getting those, <laughs> which is good, which is good. Yeah, I saw I didn't need uh, them. Brick did a, you know, one of his little shorts on YouTube of his Minotaur and Thanos was showing off his a couple weeks ago. And then I saw somebody else do some pictures on uh, his name, Skella something, Skella Soria, I think, on okay. Instagram. He was showing off his uh, Minotaur. And I'm like, damn. But I think I might wait to the, uh, I might wait and get one of those at some point in time. But I'm definitely interested in the AWOC Minotaur for sure if that ever comes to fruition. Oh, man. If that comes, dude, it's going to be yeah. so good. Like, it's gonna be so, so good. But Zezray's got some good detail. I like the Zezray figure. So, yeah, I mean, they, no, I'm I'm not complaining about any of them. Yep. They all look really good. But I, I had to shift away from the five K stuff. Oh, with yeah, the, dude, for sure. With the Greek gods and the you know that whole thing, I yep. had to. Otherwise, otherwise, I would just I'd be broke. Well, that's another mm -hmm. Kickstarter that's coming up. Is that Greek gods? Uh, whatever. The oh yeah, that line was Jesus. That's coming up soon. Yep. <clears throat> Uh, yeah sorry i was just clearing something off my screen oh it's fine yeah yeah i'm, I'm we'll see what happens i i'm, I'm definitely sticking away from the 5k site because i'm sticking with I'm, I'm really trying to focus on the independent lines that i like and um filling that out i, I well it's like you said right there's so much going on right now it's like you see so many things and you're just like i want it i want it i want it and it's like you can only no matter how rich you are, you can only afford so much because, right. you know, Mythic is dropping three or four lines a year now, right? And, yeah, you know, Savage Crucible, once they get going, will be dropping probably one or two lines every year. And then, yep. you know, Action Force and Joe and everybody else yeah. is dropping, you know. I mean, those four lines alone will will kill a, kill your purse. Oh, and yeah, that's, sure. You know, like that's the thing like with the mythic legions now having with four horsemen having mythic and cosmic i'm curious if that's going to cause a divide in some of the consumer base that like we're all like and you know they were mythic 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 i'm getting every single one of them like the guy you were mentioning on saturday yep. will you be in a situation where you know you're you're in a situation where you you're constantly you know, buying all of them, but now it's like, oh, I just got to stay out of cosmic because yeah. How are you going to, I'm sure there are some that? people that have done that. Right. And then there's people that are probably very into aliens that are just sticking strictly with cosmic, you know, as gotcha. going to mythic, but yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, I think it's, I, I love that they have them. I think it's really <clears> cool. <throat> I just, and then I you got Figura Figura too, which is like, geez, you know? Yep. Yeah. And those are, see, and that's like, I feel like, if I liked more of what the phys the 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 figure obscura was, I feel like that would be something I would likely stick with, just because it's something easy. It's like what four times a year. Uh yeah, three to four, depending on what is going on. But yeah, I yes, feel like that's Rick, more. That is absolutely you know, true. Minotaurs are a must for a Harryhausen movie shelf. You got to have a Minotaur. I need a Minotaur for my space pirates that I'm building. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I think the one that the, the AWOC are doing looks really cool. And I actually said, I actually was like, I saw Jason post it on Instagram. I'm like, what comic is, or not Jason, but like Sabiro, I saw them post it. I'm like, what comic is this from? I didn't see that page. And then he was like, oh, that's a, that's that's issue one. I was like, I got to go back and reread these. So like, if I have some downtime this weekend, I want to go through and reread them because, you know. Yeah, I was surprised to see a Minotaur. The elephant I kind of knew about because people have talked about it, but. Um, yeah. The Minotaur I was surprised with, so yeah, that's, I'm I'm excited for it. Yeah, we'll it's... see. Uh... I really, oh. uh, I've just been kind of tinkering with all sorts of different things, so it's like I'm just waiting for Monster Force because trying to build up some bank so I can actually afford it when the first pre-order drops. What are they? Uh, when are they pushing those? Well, they were supposed to be out the first quarter so like this month probably would have been the time oh, okay but they went they got delayed with their eagle force line um because of the santa claus has got delayed and then gotcha so they're back you know a couple months so which is good because 
Unfortunately, right. it'll probably drop right at fucking Joe Fest time, which will screw everything up for me. I just saw Gridiron had to back out of Joe Fest. I just saw they announced that on Facebook on Joe Fest. Really? Yeah. They, I, I thought that's what it said. Um, I don't want to misspeak, but I'm pretty sure Joe Fest announced that they were going to be out. Now you got me having to uh, go check. Yeah, there was a post today, something. I thought it was Gridiron Studios. Yeah, where is it? Um, unfortunately, Gridiron Studios cannot join us this year. We apologize for any inconvenience. Yeah, seven hours ago. Hmm. They wonder had what happened for whatever reason. Yeah, wishing the best. Yep, for sure. The guys, when guys from Good Iron, I've talked to. I think once they were on one somebody's stream, and I was chatting with them, and they yeah. were really cool. Mark's a cool guy. I've I've enjoyed listening to him on all the streams that he's been on. Yeah, yeah. Um, he seemed like a, he seemed like very friendly. I even he's like he you know even on the chat he's like hey message me if you have questions. Yeah, because I was curious as to why he went and stuck with you know three D printing versus yeah. going with like an injection mold process. And he was able to answer some questions for me yeah. offline. So it was cool. Yeah, he said he answered those questions right on the stream with Lawrence the other night. So gotcha. Um, I mean, not you know, completely, but I mean Oh, was he on Lawrence? Was he yeah, on Lawrence's like during the friend one? Thursday with a friend, yeah. Okay. Yep. I haven't seen that one. I think yeah, I was like passed out Thursday. because it was my first week back to on site work. Yeah. Yeah. Those old man naps will hit you, man. Jeez. Dude, man. It's hard. You know, it definitely it catches up with you. Like you're yawning right now, man. You're not supposed to be yawning. You took a nap. Oh, you know, it's it's, kind of, <laughs> it's crushing me. Yeah, yeah, so I totally forgot that, Brick. I, I got to go back and reread them. Like, I don't know, it was a few weeks ago. I went back and finally read through the, the Savage one, and that got me all giddy. So with the new <laughs> Kickstarter coming out for AWOC, maybe I'll go back and read those <laughs> issues. I think I was kind of in my head. I had gone through them. I think I went through them relatively quickly. Um, in the past, I think um, I was probably waiting till I knew there was new material coming. Um, and I was having a hard time at one point getting like issue four or five, whichever one that I was having a hard time getting. Um, and then finally, I and then finally Adam made it get shipped to me and I ended up landing it. So <laughs> I have all of my all of my mag- my comics. So I need to go back and recheck them out. There's just so much awesome stuff out nowadays between yeah. comics and toy lines and yeah it's just I, lo- I love when they cross though like to me that's when it's really oh cool. yeah yeah just, it's definitely like, cool having you know part of its nostalgia of course having a, a, a media mixed with your with your figures right it's like yeah it's like i go back and look through my old comics now just for like the you know advertisements i i just love oh, it you know? it's like i watch uh the group therapy podcast which shows like four hour blocks of cartoons on saturday morning serials and oh, like okay. in between, like the they have the actual commercials with the bumpers still, right? And okay. like just some of those old TV, you know, toy commercials are just like, damn. You know, that was, that's that what was I'm. Awesome. That was awesome. I'm a, right? That's what I'm gonna have someone help me do for the Hexastack stuff, dude. I'm totally doing like a Saturday morning cartoon commercial for Hexastack with with awesome, with the stands. Dude. It's it's what I want to do. I think it'll be really cool. But yeah, I I love that. Like I love so I have comics from when my dad was a kid. So my dad is like 65 or so. Yep. or 60 he'll be he was born in 60 so his comics yeah. all tail end of the 60s early 70s mid 70s yeah. and then it seemed like there's probably like a gap by the time he was 18 because he went into the marines so around that time he you know all the comics stopped and he didn't really collect anything else and he had marvel he had conan he had all sorts of things i mean in the comic box there was like magician books and things like like magazines things like that a lot of bruce lee stuff but like you open up those comics like and you go into them and you just smell like the smell of that comic like dude and like i just i can still remember it because like in my teenage years you know i'd go through phases where i'd want to hang out with my buddies and then i was like it's just like sometimes i'd like i just want to chill and like keep to myself so i'd hang out in my bedroom you know and I just bust out the old Captain America comics in the closet, and there's I just nothing better through. than that. And like a smell of a 1970s comic with the ink and everything, <laughs> dude. It's just, it's, it's yeah. like you know, you just sit there on your bed with it propped up on the pillow with the dude, you know, reading lamp sitting, on it. Yeah, just, <laughs> oh yeah, dude. 
Yeah, I just sitting it. there reading all those old school, like, and and so many of my dad's comics that I have, they're the Captain and the Falcon in them. So like, I just and like it just it's always like a way for me to just kind of read and go back to like the you know yep. mid nineties, you know, sit because that's about the age I was, about ninety five, ninety six, ninety seven, yep. just sitting in my bed, just reading through those. Man, they were great, dude. Like, and you know, it's funny because my oldest, he's so heavy into comics, man. He's got yeah. more comics than my dad and I ever had you know, combined. Cause like, obviously when my dad collected, you know, then I got into it when I was old enough to have a little bit of money. And, and I got my hands on a lot of comics, you know, at that age, you know, cause they were only like buck 25, buck 50. Right. When I yeah, was they collecting were them. For sure. Now they're four bucks of oh, a comic. Crazy. So, you know, and, and my oldest, he got into them basically when he was old enough to work and make any of his own money, he really got into them. And he's, you know, through the you comic know, book it's, store it's here. It's sad because they went to that like uh, wax paper stuff, right? So it's like, yeah, like the, the it doesn't have the same smell. It doesn't have the same feel, right? Like it's not I like a matte comics on the real original paper. And it's just, you yeah, know, it's like a premium paper with like a gloss yeah, as opposed yeah. to like a matte dry yeah. newspaper feel. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna have to go bust those comics out. Probably shouldn't. Yeah. Because whatever value they may have, they're you know every time I open them and I flip through them, <laughs> I'm probably ruining them. Yeah. But at this point, there's so much corruption in the comic grading community from what I've seen on YouTube. Yep. With there's so many no, people, there's no value in comics, dude. I mean, unless you got like like my uncle has uh, original Spider Man and uh, oh, I got a ton of those Spider Mans, like key ones where you know the first appearances of this guy yeah. and that guy and yeah, like those know, ones are worth something. But like yeah. you know, like I have some from like the '80s that, that were mine when I was a kid, and you know, it was like they're they're not anything special, you know what I mean? But to me, they're special, right? So it's like, yeah. So Largo, yeah, wow. like, start getting female chickens and having them lay eggs for you. Yeah, because uh, I just lost five chickens today. I just found out. I came home and my wife was like, "My wife's like, the chickens are running around out back by themselves. It's the first time they were out like running out by themselves." Yeah, and she's like, "And the dogs, because I have two beagles." She's like, "The dogs are doing fine. Like our one dog, we would have thought would have been like, you know, kind of chasing them around, was totally just kind of sitting next to him, hanging out, and like." She's like, but there's only three of the eight back there. So maybe the other five are still inside the coop area. And I went back and um, there was no sign of any disturbance except for the fact that part of my uh, coop had been ripped apart. So um, enough for the, some of the chickens to get out. And what I assume is that something got in overnight last night or something yep. and scooped up five of them. And, and so I had to reinforce that for a little bit this afternoon, fix yeah, that so that they can't be gone. So there's it three left. Definitely had to be a bigger animal because, like, the weasels, they'll just come in and kill the chickens right inside the coop. Yeah. They won't damage the coop at all. They just bite the necks and suck the blood out. So gotcha. that's definitely like a coyote or a fox. Okay. And we haven't had too much of that around here because I got my beagles, and my beagles do a pretty yeah. good job because they, they free roam on the two acres. Yeah. So they can come and go everywhere. So they're always marking the property. So it's that time of year, man. Too you much. know, everybody's just, yeah. you know, all the animals are waking up, getting hungry, and. Everything's, yeah. everything's dinner right yeah we can't add more chickens though because those chickens are snots if you try to introduce new ones into them oh yeah yep. I, I experienced that they don't work well so i have to wait for these three to move on and these are about four years old five years old now so i've got at least probably three years left before i'll cycle through and get another batch in there Rick said it was aliens. <laughs> you know what i bet you it was between yeah, you and i guys abducting chickens now right I think it was hella dope toys. Yeah. I think, That's right. I think they did deliver to your house, shit. right? They said there was a box on my front porch that night. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's either them or punk because punk doesn't answer my calls. So, suspiciously, maybe he was doing it. I'll tell you a funny story about chickens. So, um, my father in law, he, he lived next door when I lived with my ex wife and, uh, he had a he had a barn and we always had chickens and goats and just small you know small farm animals right basically yep. just kept them for the kids the kids got to collect the eggs and all that fun stuff right so one morning the kids were all off to you know i think they were all in bed they were still little and i woke up to get ready to go to work and i it was summertime and i kept hearing like this chicken just like going nuts right i'm like what the hell the chickens are like where our house was and the barn was probably like, you know, a hundred yards behind us where the barn with the, with the chickens was. Right. I'm like, why is this chicken outside my window? So I 
open up the shutters, you know, the blinds and look out there. And this chicken's doing laps in my front yard with a fox <laughs> hot on its tail, right? Oh, and man. The, so there's a chicken, a fox, and then the rooster's chasing after the fox, right? Going crazy. That's so I'm fun. like, holy shit. And we always called the rooster George. And okay. Ethel was the chicken, right? We called all the chicken, female chickens, Ethel, because we didn't yep. tell them apart, you know? <laughs> and uh, so I go out there really fast, and I chased off the fox, and then, you know, George starts walking back to the thing and the chicken starts going back across the street, which is the wrong direction. So right. I have to grab her or walk her to the bar and I get back there. And there's like just the slaughter of all the other chickens that the Fox must have got. We had 12 when I first started with them and all 12 of them were gone one morning. Yeah. We think, we think our neighbor may have let them loose That's because possible. they didn't, they didn't want, they didn't want us to have the chickens. So maybe yeah. they thought they would get away with, you know, making them disappear but and it was weird because my the neighbor that we suspected did it we saw him the next day after the chickens came up missing and we're like his face was all banged up and it looked like he had gotten into a fight with something so we're like that's weird <laughs> yeah chicken that's must very gone. weird well i figured he fell and slipped in the yard or something and banged oh, his yeah, head off possibly. something either Do you have a rooster wife beat him up no we don't oh we don't i don't want the noise I try to. It's I try not to the be, noise you got to worry about. The news. The roosters are a pain in the ass because they're dumb. They're mon They're like jerks. They're yeah. they're like yeah, huge they're, jerks. They're yeah. nasty. Every yeah, like, every two or three days, I'd have to remind George who the boss was because I'd go in there yep. to get the eggs and he'd start biting at my legs and shit, and I'd have to give him a right. little kick, smack him in the head, and be like, "George, exactly. I'm the boss here. You're you're the boss yep. when I'm not here, but when I'm here, I'm the boss." So, yep. He was a good yeah, rooster, that's but he was an asshole exactly that's the problem though is you don't want to have that you know what i mean like you, you don't want to have the situation where you're yeah you like know. every time i took the kids in there i'd have to go in there and get george out into the the actual like fenced in pen you know, I, i've i've heard that can be a monster. And let the kids come yep. in and get the eggs and yeah it was a pain in the ass but yeah my neighbors would get really aggravated at me i'm sure if i was uh if i was doing that yeah my neighbor across the street where i used to live had chickens and a rooster and his rooster crowed every day at five o'clock at night so it was okay yeah i don't think i don't think my neighbors would be fans of that <laughs> by any sense they would they would have my head so yeah we stick to the girls and lay, lay a, the egg layers so it works good yeah especially with the cost of eggs so right and yeah. fresh eggs you can keep out of the fridge for 30 but 30 days man without any problem. yeah 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 yes sir so yeah, man, that's uh, fresh eggs. That's my world. Oh yeah, there's so much better. Yep. So that's that's my world of uh, of Travis here right now. Um, yeah, mine too, man. I know we're my running up is, on uh, a little over an hour. Trying to get uh, trying to get used to being back to work and everything else, man. It's oh rough. man, dude, adjusting, dude. Anytime you're making that adjustment. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's yeah. a handful, brother. Well, you know the bad sure. part is, is I was off for pretty much three months without any work at all, right? And it was like, yep, I got into this mode where like I'd go to sleep every day at like two o'clock in the afternoon just because I was bored shitless or you know, oh yeah, tired of like surfing the internet looking for a job and you know f trying to f you know get that, get things going. And it was like, so I'd sit down at like two o'clock, have my lunch, and the next thing you know, it was like. I'd pass out for an hour, hour and a half. And it was like, then I was up all night long. Cause it was like, now it's like totally opposite. You know, I'm going back to bed at like midnight, getting up at five every day. It's like, damn that adjustment period. Yeah. That'll do, that'll do it to you. <laughs> I'm like, I've been doing this for two months now. It's about time I'm used to it, but it's still, it's like, Oh, I'm too old for this shit. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Well, it's, it's better to have something, right? Like I know, like I could play to have going to the office, but I'm just happy I have one. So exactly. What's up, yeah. Jeff. Thanks for stopping in brother. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, man. So I, I know like we'll, uh, um, we're going to do this every week now. You yeah, know. every week, 9 o'clock. It's, uh, I, th I think we're going with Toilet, toilet Tuesdays, right? So toilet it sounds Tuesdays, like a toilet. Yeah. If you yep. say it really fast, it sounds like it's the shit because it's toilet, yep. but it's Toilet. Tuesday. Toilet. <laughs> we'll, uh, it's French. We'll it goes with Action. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Action um, and the Toilet. Absolutely. Uh, you know, so definitely, yeah. Like, like Fat Red said, go ahead and hit that like for us if, you, uh, yep. if you're enjoying it. Um, 
I don't know what we have on the agenda for next week. We'll definitely have to come up with something. Um, yeah. Any topics you guys want us to discuss, drop them in the chat right now while we're talking. Uh, yeah. You got anything coming up? For you me, um, uh, look for an update on Monday next week for Hexastack because uh, after this weekend, I should have made the progress I'm hoping to make. Um, I was very motivated having gone to the toy show this past weekend, talking to some folks. I got some... I got some toy uh, shops from the Northeast. Uh, I got their business cards. They expressed some interest in, in potentially, you know, receiving some bulk orders to um, stock right. locally in their facilities. Uh, when I go down to Virginia, I've already uh, got like a tour of the toy stores that I'm going to be doing on one of the days because there's a few toy stores down there in Virginia Beach area that um, I'm going to do some. You know, is that toy show you went to like all just local vendors pretty much? Is it like actually yeah. like a small toy show? Yeah, it's very yeah. small. There's nothing yeah. big there, like a lot um, of vintage stuff. Yeah, believe it or not, I have a friend of mine who shortly after I started creating my stands, he was actually he's actually one of the first people I talked about talked to my stands for. Um he was not 3D printing or anything like that, you know, but I knew he was like a toy collector of like pops and things like that. But I also know he was like not frugal. Like he's very frugal with his money. He didn't like yeah. to spend it on like, you know, he was a clearance toy buyer. He's not likely going to buy something retail price if he doesn't have to, um, you know, he kind of looked for deals and such. So I went to him and I was like, Hey, I want to, I know me as a collector. This is how I look at it. How do you think about these stands? Just kind of trying to price him, see if my pricing and like, if it was even something that would be justifiable. And, you know, after talking to him, you know, a few months later, he had pointed out to me that he got a 3d printer. He started messing with some stuff. He's got like his own type of stand, which it's funny. Cause there's like this, he's like a really good friend of mine. Um, and there was a few of us that uh, in like this very, you know, fantasy football group, bunch of wives or friends and stuff. Uh, there's like an ongoing joke that like the Capital District is like a, the hotbed and the largest producer of action figure display stands in like the country. So like there's this joke because he started his thing. He was actually on site at the um, uh, he was on site at the uh, the convention. I had mentioned it to him. I knew I wasn't going to it. And I said, hey. This might be a way for you to get your stuff out there. He's much different in the approach that he's taking towards the product. It's a totally different stand. Um, it's not one that is anything like the Hexa stack. It's it's not like that. It's something unique and whatnot. But it's it's still, you know, it goes back to my opinions on things is we're all digging into the same, yep. you know, expendable income. So I don't promote his stuff and I told him not to promote mine. You know, we're not we're not enemies. I'm like, hey, go do yeah. your thing. You know, I'm rooting for you. We share inside information. You know, I, I made recommendations to him for his booth for this past weekend. Stopped in, shook his hand, wished him luck, asked him a couple questions on how he was using the Shopify app, things like that. But um, yeah, so um, it was a really small thing. A couple comic yeah. book stores. I would say the room that they had, they maybe had 12 vendors in the one section and then maybe five or six vendors in the other with maybe they a couple do it like just a little hotel or uh yeah um, it's in a bot it's in a bottom of a hotel and one of their yeah. little side rooms there just right up yeah. in lake george yeah so we have one yeah. of those around here that and it's like yeah it's they usually have like one so so like comic book guest artist or something right and then they have like a bunch of like vendors that are just mostly vintage comics and toys gotcha. and, you know maybe a one or two like there's only like one toy store in the entire area now yeah so it's like but yeah, now we have Nickel City, Con, of course, which is, you know, a big that's one I was looking at this year because I yeah. thought it would be a really cool one to go to. I, I don't think I'm even trying yeah. like it's 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 not on my radar anymore is yeah. likely something I'm going to look at for next year. Um, I definitely have nickel. Uh, I have nickel. What is it? Nickel, nickel City? City Con. Yeah. Yeah. So I have the Nickel City on my radar for next year. This year right now, I'm looking to try to get to the I have a room booked. Uh, for Legion's Con, so I would like to go down to that. I would like to set up a booth. Right now, I'm told that there isn't any booths available, so if one becomes available, hopefully I'll be able to secure one for that. Um, but I'm also looking at potentially the late August uh, Zolo Con, uh, yeah. which is at the same area that they had the one a couple <clears> weeks <throat> ago. They run like three a year, one in like the, the earlier portion of the year in March or whatever, a February time frame. Then they do one middle of the year, and then I think one later towards Halloween... Yeah, they have three a year. You know, another show if 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 Hexatech takes off, another good show you might want to look into is the Steel City Con, which that's is down in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. 
Yeah, they have yeah. two of them. They have a spring one and a fall one. And they yeah, have I've been... that's a huge con, dude. They have some major guests and like huge yeah. stuff, right? Um, like you know, once you get going, the hexa stack and it gets going, that's definitely one to to look into, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I, I definitely want to like, and I definitely have a bunch that I've looked at and I put spreadsheets together of ones that I think would tie in. I've also reached out to people because having that past history in professional wrestling, I know a lot, I have a lot of connections of some of the, you know, former pro wrestlers, Motors you know, I've got that. a buddy of mine who, who wrote, writes books, you know, he, he's the author of a number of autobiographies for folks yeah. that he's worked with, you know, he's done, um, he did Sabu, he did uh, a Kamala, you know, a lot of early 90s guys yeah. and stuff like that. So he's a lot of connections and stuff. So between him and then there's this local toy shop here called Heroes Hideout. Um, it's a local toy, shore, sh toy shop they have here. They host a lot of professional wrestlers and stuff. So um, I'm able to reach out to some of these guys and say, hey, you've been to this con before, you know, what is the clientele? What is the, you know, what is the toy thing? Like, is there this, is there that? So, yeah. um, I mean, between you and I, I got, there's a date, there's, there's not a date, but there's a con that's on my radar, um, in, in Orlando next year. Uh, I think it's like MegaCon is what it's called. Yep, MegaCon. It, yep. it happens to be, call me tedious, but it happens to be in the backyard of somebody who sent me a cease and desist. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. um, Spike, I, 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 I would Spiteful. really, I would really <laughs> like to go to that. I would really like to go to that one and, uh, and, and promote myself. Um, What's up, I have, Tom? uh, I have, I have procured a number of convention booth, um, yeah. items to really enhance the overall, um, yeah. uh, you know, booth. So looking forward to that. So yeah, um, I'm hoping yeah, Nickel City Con's a good one because you get uh Rochester all the way through like Erie, Pennsylvania, you know, and it's it's the only con in the whole area. So I mean you get a shit ton of people, right? There's a lot of traffic there, but yeah, I'm torn. I like I want to go like I feel like after going to PowerCon, like PowerCon was such a great experience. Yeah. There was so much foot traffic, like the 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 amount of people, even you know, just having chats with folks and you know, the exposure that I had there was tremendously beneficial. Speak, you know, an example is like that that cease and desist group. There yeah. they had something I somebody sent me a picture of the other day. They had somebody saying, Hey, were you guys at PowerCon, you know, uh, showing off this product? on one of the recent things and i thought that was great because they found them but they you know were like hey is that yeah. you so like it definitely got my brand out there to a degree oh yeah um things i want to do to improve it but like the smaller ones like this one this past weekend i can see yes will i make a few bucks but is it worth am i yeah. going to get enough exposure and then i like i don't know right like that's one of those things of like and you know this from your from your job right like we used to go to shows for my job where we just go to the show, walk around, kind of, you know, network and stuff like that at some shows, but they weren't worth paying the money for a booth and all that yeah. stuff, that, right? And then I you think, have the big shows that you it. go get the booth at that, you know, you're going to make some money. You're going right. to get a lot of, of you know, exposure. exposure to the customers, right? So it's it's one of those things. Yeah, you definitely got to, you know. <clears throat> yeah. I'd like to say that in the, you know, by August, well, it'll be Hexastack Killing the Cons Tour 2024. Yep. There There'll you be t-shirts. You can buy them, <laughs> Killing the Cons, and that's the goal. But, you know, if, if I do do some of the smaller ones, which I think will be good to just kind of like, you know, there's, it's, it's a, they're not expensive, $40 for a table versus oh, yeah, 200 yeah. plus dollars for a table, right? Yeah. So, you know, it, it's just the time, the setup, all that stuff. It, yeah. I got to weigh it and whatnot. If I know there's going to be some toy stores there and stuff that are going to be selling their stuff. I would look to go to those and then potentially, you know, market them to the, the, not only the people that are walking the floors to buy stuff, but also, like you said, networking with some other vendors in hopes that maybe getting the product into their, yeah into their hands. And really once you get Hexastack going and start doing some of the expansion things you have in, 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 in your mind, right. That's when you really start seeing like the cons pay off because yeah, it's going to be hard just to go to a con and sell st the Hexastacks by themselves. Right. But you start yeah. selling like the Hexa stack with all the add-ons and the other things that you have in your you know, yep. like book of tricks. You're really going to start doing things. So like you said, you know, end of this year, next year, you know, you'll be rolling in it, dude. 
Yeah. And I mean, the way I look at it is there's been some delays. Uh, you know, it all goes back to, you know, in hindsight, I'm happy that the the Kickstarter didn't succeed, right? Because it gave yep. me an opportunity to digest some things. It also made it so I wasn't holding on anybody's money or yep. forcing myself to sleepless nights to try to produce something that I was running into, yep. you know, heat stuff with and, yeah. you know, things like that. So it, it well, like, presented look how me bad the opportunity. Look feel about not being able to get pain stuff out, right? You'd have, you right. know. Exactly. 500 people that you'd be feeling that way about, right? Oh, yeah. Right. And, and and that would kill the business in itself, yeah. right? Because yeah, exactly. at this point, you know, there's still talk, there's still movement, I'm still taking it forward. Um, but I have not dropped anybody. I haven't dropped the ball on anybody. So yeah. my and goal you're also is doing to... it your own way, right? You, you didn't yeah. copy somebody else's thing. You didn't, you know, yeah. go the cheat way, right? <laughs> Right, right. For the people so, that you know, will remain unmentioned, right? Exactly. C yeah. We'll just call them C and D. The C and D, right? Yep. Cock and yeah. Cock and yeah. Something. I don't <laughs> think they have those, but that's just me. Um, they definitely don't have any balls, but hey. Um, <laughs> so, uh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm petty. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, like the way I look at it is, you know, uh, May 15th is when I announced it. Um, if I can get live April 1st, it took me, you know, just under 12 months, you know, or just under 11 months, roughly, you know, something like that. So, um, uh, if I can yeah, get that bad to get full up and do them running, dude, you got a lot, you had a lot to do and you did it all as a one man band. So, you know, yeah, that's, that's killer. Thank, yeah. Thank God you got a good wife. Oh, she's been so supportive, dude. And yeah, you know, she gave me crap the other day. She's like, so you ever going to make those? And I'm like, I am working, <laughs> I am working hard on this. I'm balancing uh, a lot to try to get there. I so, love her, but she's been so supportive. So I, I, I can't complain uh hey man she she went and stayed in a hotel room in 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 fucking columbus ohio was <laughs> uh, yeah in that show exactly right? exactly hang out hang out <laughs> with some guys and try to network and stuff she was good about it man it was yeah. it was cool right so, after, yeah, no, it's been oh, right before your vacation right that was right before yeah your then i took her on then i took her to maryland for a week so that she could enjoy so she could enjoy uh, some vacation much awesome. deserved vacation for sure yeah so um yeah man um what do you got going on you guys uh, doing the see. oz so fest thursday, this weekend thursday we're doing punks on film me and matthew matson and tony spigs will be doing uh billy jack i think okay. that's it i think it's at 9 p.m i've time. never seen that surprise surprise uh, <laughs> it's kind of a, a martial arts tough guy movie you know good stuff oh, okay um okay cool so we're reviewing that for Punks on Film. And then, of course, Saturday night, I will be on uh, Saturday Night Clubhouse on Oz Stradamus Toys' channel with Good whoever deal. pops in for the night for the seven, eight hours that we, we stream for. Um, cool. Thanos Copter, Brick, Largo, U, Cobweb Collector, Toy Connections, all those people pop in and out. So that's a good show to come in and hang out with. And yeah, everybody, don't forget to... Go to Largo's Lair. He's going to be a new video dropping in like seven minutes now. And okay. uh, check him out. And then Friday nights, Wraith Mace has a new show on at 10 p.m. Uh, covering the uh, Joy Toy Warhammer 40K and stuff like that. Space Marines, he's doing a good show. He just started. Uh, Tony's Figs is another good channel to check out. He just started a, a channel recently with his G.I. Joe customs. That is really awesome. So, um. And then, of course, Hella Dope Toys. Go support the boys. And this guy right here, he just got a new uh, got a new uh, background that says, Jeff does a lot of uh, one six scale custom G.I. Joe stuff. Oh, okay. And uh, he just put a new thing on some of his videos. It's like, he says, I'm not an expert, but <laughs> I'm just, uh, I can't remember how he put it, but it was pretty funny. He's just in, you yeah, know, sure. knuckle dragger or something. <laughs> nice. Just a good guy, man. He, he can take, you give him a pile of shit and he'll make a sculpture out of it for you. <laughs> He's one of those guys. Good so, deal. Good deal. Yeah. You got, you also got Radnon. You can always go watch him. Oh yeah. And I, I mod Radnon's channel on Friday night. So, you know, he's, yeah. he's a foam builder. Yes, he's oh, he's knucklehead, good. not knuckle dragger. That's the word. <laughs> good, not deal. much difference, Jeff. In my opinion, <laughs> we're all knuckle draggers, right? Big gorillas. Awesome. But uh, good deal. Yeah. Other than that, uh, thanks everybody for popping in. Uh, we'll be back next Tuesday with the toilet, not the toilet show. Toilet. No, I'm saying toilet. <laughs> toilet no, I love it. Tuesdays, I love right? it. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe we'll do a segment. You know, what's going? What is it? Toilet or is it toilet? Yeah. Yeah, and, well, and 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 we'll, we we'll we'll do a whole segment toys. of of 
like some toy line that just belongs going down the drain and like flush it down yep. the toilet, right? Exactly. <laughs> not not that's not toy leap, that's toilet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. All right. Later, Thanos. Deal, dude. Later, Jeff. Thanks everybody for popping in. We'll see you all next week. I don't have an outro, so we're just ending. Everybody say goodbye.